Hello and welcome to our latest team building episode. Today we are rocking out with Hacks the Jirachi. Oh boy, this is going to be great. We're going into the OU tier with Jirachi. And this thing has Serene Grace. So I'm pretty sure some of you know what this is going to be. We're going to be running Iron Head. Even more of you know what it's going to be. We're running Zen Head, but even more of you know what this is going to be. It's going to be pretty freaking crazy, I'll give it that much. Um, we're also going to give it U-Turn, because we are going to make this a Choice Scarf, Jirachi. Beautiful, beautiful Pokemon. And for a final move, we're going to give this Jirachi Fire Punch, so it doesn't get walled out by Steel types, if I can spell fire. So, this is going to be a team built around Choice Scarf Jirachi, which is absolutely incredible. Not because of its base stats or anything like that, because they're all base 100, which are good, yes. But, it's amazing because it has a 60% chance to flinch with each of its moves. 60%. That is a high chance to flinch, and that will keep us alive. So, to build a core around Jirachi, we're looking for something that resists... Dark and Ghost would be good, so we kind of want a Dark type, and it's also weak to Fire and Ground, so maybe a Water type as well, or just something. We'll st we'll start with Dark type. So we're looking for Dark types in the OU tier. I wish I could run Dark, but I believe me. Maybe not defensively though. Um, we're looking for OU, although Umbreon's UU, Umbreon's quite good. I'll keep that in my mind. Uh, Hooper Unbound isn't really defensive at all. Bishop, not really defensive. Sableye, eh, doesn't resist Dark or Ghost. Really wouldn't work. Tyranitar, does resist Dark, Ghost, and Fire, but is weak to ground. So that'd be picking up a second ground weakness straight away. Don't really like the sound of that. Uh, is that really all we have to rock with? Yeah, that re that's that's not a lot. Um, Umbreon, you look like the best choice, so we're gonna take uh, Scumbreon. Gonna make sure you're called Scumbreon, because this thing is annoying as hell to go up against. So you know what? We're making a disgusting team as it is. Let's make a really disgusting team. We'll give this thing Curse and Payback, because it's a neat little combo that works quite nicely. Uh, we'll give it Moonlight for recovery. I I think Moonlight's your only form of recovery. You don't get anything like soft boiled. No, you don't get soft boiled. No. Why would you get soft boiled? Um, you need to be shiny, first up. And we will also give you Toxic. And you will be specially defensive, because your special defense is higher and we're boosting your defense as it is. And that was very, very quick. I really feel like I decided that very quickly. But at the same time, it's really good, so we'll just rock with it. Now, Umbreon is weak to fighting, bug, and fairy. Fairy is already covered by Jirachi. Jirachi's got fairies all over. So, fighting and bug. As long as it's not weak to fighting or bug, not weak to fire or ground, we should be fine. Um, we could rock out with Ferrothorn. But that's weak to fighting. And fire. That no, we can't go with Ferrothorn. We could go with defensive Garchomp. We could go with defensive Garchomp. We could go with Heatran, that's four times weak to ground. But yeah, I, okay, we'll keep we'll keep looking, we'll keep looking. Uh, we're looking for something physically defensive. We could rock out with defensive Manaphy. But that isn't the best Pokemon. Uh, and plus I have I have a few ideas of things that I want to use for making this a disgusting team, so not Manaphy. You know what, I think we will run Defensive Garchomp. It resists Bug, it resists Fire, it's not weak to ground, it's not weak to fighting. Yeah, okay, Rocky Helmet Garchomp. Rocky does not have a 5 in it, believe it or not. It's just... Uh, uh, English is a difficult language, oh god, I'm sorry. Uh, Garchomp, uh, I don't have a nickname for you just yet, but we will give you Earthquake, because it's an amazing move. We'll give you... Um, I want you to have Stone Edge. 
Now, do we give you rocks? I think we give you stealth rock. And we give you dragon claw. I think that is what we rock out with. And we make you physically defensive. So we're not going to need your special attack. We're going to put four points into your attack because it's monstrous as it is. Uh, what's your shiny form like? Do you even change? You don't change. What about your female? Do you change at all? No? Okay. Looks like we're rocking out with that. So we have a little bit of a fighting weakness and a little bit of a ground weakness. So if we can cover those, that'd be great. So we're looking for a Pokemon that's disgusting to have on an OU team that's going to piss people off to the maximum. Gardevoir. Gardevoir doesn't resist ground. Uh, oh, Togekiss. That's a fairy flying type. That'd be great. Where's Togekiss? Togekiss. Oh, we are definitely running King's Rock Togekiss. We're going to annoy the world. The world will hate us after this team is built. Um, we're giving you Air Slash because it's going to go to a 60% chance to flinch. With King's Rock giving it an extra 10% chance to flinch. And that's broken, to be honest. Uh, we'll give you Aura Sphere for coverage. We could give you Ancient Power to try and get Ancient Power boosts. That could be so crazy. I don't know about that. We could give you Thunder Wave to Power Flinch. I would normally give you Try Attack, but I don't think you can run Try Attack with Air Slash, so I'm not going to do that. You learn Soft Boiled, you learn Roost, you learn. Ooh. Roost, do we make you kind of bulky? Or do we not? I don't think we will. I think we'll make you fast. We'll make you a fast attacker and we'll give you... I guess we should give you Dazzling Gleam so that you have a fairy type move and I guess we should also give you... You have so much coverage. There's so many options. I mean, we could give you Nasty Plot to set up, we could give you crazy moves like Signal Beam, Shadow Ball, you've got Heat Wave, Flamethrower, you could go Priority. Ah, uh, there's so many different options to go with. But I think, I mean, we could even rock Thunder Wave just to Power Flinch. But I'm not going to go as far as to Power Flinch. I'm just going to give it Nasty Plot in case we get a setup opportunity. And we will make you kind of fast. So we'll give you as much speed investment as we can. We'll bring that down to four. So hopefully we should be able to get a Nasty Plot off at some point, And that could be great. But we'll see. We'll see about that. I don't know. Um, your name is going to be as original as I can possibly make it. Yeah, you, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Paul. You just had to witness. Right, now what else do we need on this team? That covers our fighting weakness by far, because we have four times resistance. We have an immunity to ground now. Is there any massive weakness that we are staring right in the face? Not particularly. Maybe ice. Drachi kind of covers ice, but ice might be a little bit of an issue. Either way, it's not too much of a problem. Um, I guess we could pick up Keldeo for ice types. Keldeo is someone that I have never used. I want a special attacking water type, and I don't know if there's anything other than Keldeo. I mean, we could have Manaphy, we could have Starmie, but I don't want to pick up Starmie or Slowbro because they're part Psychic. I guess the only really decent special attacking water type is Keldeo, so I, we'll run Keldeo. We'll give it a life orb. Uh, what kind of moves do you get? I've never used a Keldeo. Uh, you get Secret Sword, I know that, and you get Skull. That's your stab. Um, quite a lot of people run Hydro Pump as well as Skull, but I'm not going to do that because I don't see the point in doubling up on uh, stab moves. Like, why run Hydro Pump and Skull? Hydro Pump does an extra, uh, not even a third more, with a 20% miss chance. Just seems too risky. Um, what else do you get? Is that really all your coverage extends to? You can't mind. Oh dear. We could run a Hidden Power. We can run Icy Wind. Okay, we'll run Icy Wind, because that can slow opponents down that swap in on us. That could be good. And we will also run... Do we run Hidden Power Fire for 
Scissors and Fairy Thorns aren't too much of a threat because Secret Sword hits them for neutral and super effective. So we don't need Hidden Power Fire. What would come in that would really stop us? Not a flying type, because we have Icy Wind. Uh, probably not a grass type, because we have Icy Wind. A psychic type, maybe? Ah, that's too risky. We'll just run Calm Mind in case we get set up, set up opportunity. That seems good to me. Uh, Keldia, what the hell do you name a Keldia? Um, actually, I really want to use this because Pokemon Resolute is going to be my next playthrough. So, Pokemon Resolute, there you go, there's a reference. Um, and now we need something to round off this team. We don't have a Mega. So we'll have a look at some of the OU Megas that we could perhaps fit onto this team. Mega Charizard X, we already have a Dragon type. Uh, Mega Lopany, we already have a Fighting type. Uh, Mega Manectric could be good, but I don't really want to add to the ground weakness that we just covered. Mega Pinsir is weak to way too many things, like four times weakness to Stealth Rocks. Oh, Stealth Rocks, that's a point. We can go back to Togekiss, and instead of Nasty Plot, we could give you Defog. I'm going to run you with Defog instead of Nasty Plot. Because I don't see you having too many chances to Nasty Plot. I see you just flinching things. Okay, okay, okay. One slight edit there. Um, we get Aerodactyl, doesn't really help. Mega Sizzle, only weak to fire. I don't really want to add to the fire. Venusaur wouldn't add to the fire weakness or an ice weakness because it has thick fat, which would reduce them. We could run with Mega Venusaur. Mega Venusaur's bulky as hell. I'm going to run Mega Venusaur. Let's do it. Um, your pre-mega will be chlorophyll, just in case they have the sun up for some goddamn reason. Uh, Giga Drain and Sludge Bomb are your stab moves. No, not Sludge. Sludge Bomb, thank you. Um, well, uh, we can give you Leech Seed for if things want to swap in on us, and we can get some health back, perhaps. And I guess we could give you Synthesis? Or we could give you Sleep Powder. Or you can learn like crazy moves like knock off an outrage and you can be mixed attacker. Your attack's okay. Um, I think we should run. I mean, you can even get sword stance. You could just destroy everything. How are we looking for physical special split? We have physical, 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 special, special, special. Okay, I like it. I like that. Um, we do get walled out by sizzles and ferrothorns without much to swap into for them. So I might run, instead of Leech Seed, I'll run Synthesis, so we can get HP back. And then we also run Hidden Power Fire in case a Scissor or Ferrothorn comes in on us. And we make you max special attack, minus physical attack. And what do we do with the rest of your points? Do we make you kind of bulk? Do we just max your HP? Or nearly max your HP, I should say, because we want it to be an odd number. And we give you 8 in special defense. That seems kind of good. What's your shiny like? Nope. What's your shiny like? Um, we can rock with that. Your shiny is gold, we can rock with that. You don't have a shiny, that's good. Uh, that's good. Um, I had a Venusaur in my Pokemon Emerald playthrough, and it was called... Oh, I've got to try and remember what it was called. I think it was called Cabbage. So you are just Cabbage. You are, you are Cabbage. That is all. And for Garchomp, Dragons, Think Dragons, um, you're being called Sora. Okay. I'm just gonna check that this team is valid because I have done a lot of crazy stuff on this team. It's not currently possible to get Shiny Kelgo. Okay, you're not being Shiny in that case. Is that the only thing that's wrong? That is the only thing that's wrong. So this is going to be our team. So, come back tomorrow and check out the battles for this team. Without further ado, thank you guys for watching. Bye.